There are certain lifts in the world of construction that seem impossible. Lifts so heavy and so complex, they push the known limits of engineering. To solve these problems, a special class of machine had to be invented. Today, we're looking at the top three, the world's largest semi-mobile land-based cranes. Today, we focus on the undisputed kings of the land, colossal machines built for mobility and unmatched power. These cranes can be broken down, shipped to any corner of the globe, and reassembled to perform lifts so immense they were once considered impossible. Unlike the massive gantry cranes found at shipyards or the specialized floating cranes operating on water, these giants dominate terrestrial projects, hoisting massive structures with precision and strength. Their extraordinary lifting capacities enable construction feats that reshape landscapes and push engineering boundaries, delivering results that are nothing short of staggering. We're about to look at three machines that do more than just lift. They challenge the very laws of physics. This is Hard Hat Industries, where heavy machinery comes alive. Our journey into the world of impossible lifts begins not with the largest crane, but with one of the most specialized, the Biggie AFRD, or A-Frame Ring Derrick. Designed and built in the United States, this machine is a testament to American engineering and a direct answer to a national challenge. With a certified lifting capacity of 4,000 metric tons, or just over 4,400 US tons, the AFRD is a true heavyweight. Its main boom can extend up to 560 feet, giving it immense reach. But what truly sets it apart isn't just its strength, it's the problem it was built to solve. For decades, the construction of new nuclear power plants in the U.S. had stalled, partly due to the immense complexity and cost of assembling the critical components. The Biggie AFRD was designed specifically for this. Its primary mission has been at the Vogtel Electric Generating Plant in Georgia, where it has been responsible for lifting and placing massive modules, including the containment vessel rings and the steam generators. These aren't just heavy lifts, they are incredibly precise operations where a millimeter of error is not an option. A single module can weigh over 2 million pounds and the AFRD has to place it perfectly, often with teams working hundreds of feet below. This creates an atmosphere of incredible tension on site, where the skill of the operators and the reliability of the machine are all that stand between progress and disaster. But here's the trade-off with the AFRD. Its design prioritizes brute strength over mobility. It sits on a massive concrete ring foundation, allowing it to slew 360 degrees and cover a vast area from a single location. This is a machine designed to dominate a single job site for years at a time. The innovation here wasn't about speed, but about stability and safety, providing the hope that large-scale nuclear projects could once again be viable. This crane didn't just lift steel, it lifted the prospects of an entire industry. Yet, as groundbreaking as the AFRD is, the world of heavy lifting doesn't stand still. What happens when you need that same level of power, but also the flexibility to move around a sprawling, complex job site? The answer requires a complete rethinking of what a ring crane can be. What's the most complex lift you've ever witnessed or been a part of on a job site? Let us know the details in the comments. This brings us to our number two, the crane that many consider the most impressive piece of mobile machinery on Earth, the Sarens SGC-250, affectionately known as Big Carl. This machine isn't just an evolution, it's a revolution in heavy lifting, and it represents the strongest point in our story today. With a maximum lifting capacity of 5,000 metric tons, or over 5,500 US tons, the SGC-250 boasts a 25% increase in power over the Biggie AFRD. But its raw strength is only half the story. The true genius of this Belgian-designed behemoth is its mobility. Unlike other cranes of this size that are fixed or have limited slew, the SGC-250 can perform a full 360-degree swing, all while carrying its maximum load. How is this possible? The crane travels on a rail system with a slewing ring, allow it to reposition its main boom to any point on the compass. It also features a counterweight system that balances the load at all times. This single feature is a game changer, 
It means the crane requires minimal reconfiguration for different lifts. It can pick up a massive component, slew across the job site, and place it with unparalleled precision, saving months of project time and millions of dollars. Nowhere is this capability more visible than at its current home, the Hinkley Point C nuclear power station in the United Kingdom. This is one of the largest and most complex construction projects on the planet. Big Carl was transported to the site in 280 truckloads and assembled over several months. Since then, it has become the undeniable heart of the project, lifting everything from prefabricated steel rings to the main reactor dome. Its total height can reach a staggering 820 feet, dominating the skyline. The scale of this machine is difficult to comprehend. It's powered by six power packs with 12 engines running in parallel to provide the hydraulic pressure needed. It uses extensive steel wire rope. The main hook block alone weighs more than 100 tons. This crane is a global effort, a Belgian machine working on a British project of international importance, demonstrating a new level of hope and innovation in the world of megaprojects. It proves that you can have both record-breaking size and unprecedented flexibility. But even Big Carl has a challenger. A new king has recently emerged, designed to lift loads that were, until now, purely theoretical. Do you think these giant mobile ring cranes are the future for all major projects, or is there a better solution on the horizon? Share your engineering insights below. We now arrive at the pinnacle of land-based lifting the machine with the highest certified capacity on the planet, the Mammut SK-6000. If the other cranes on this list pushed the boundaries of engineering, this one simply created new ones. The SK-6000 boasts a mind-bending maximum lifting capacity of 6,000 metric tons, or nearly 6,700 US tons. That's a lift of over 13 million pounds from a single machine. It takes the proven ring-based design of Mammut's other heavy-lift cranes and scales it up to a level that is almost hard to believe. This crane was not built simply to be the biggest. It was built in anticipation of a fundamental shift in how we build our world. As offshore wind turbines grow to incredible sizes and industrial facilities move towards ever larger prefabricated modules, a new class of lifting power is required. The SK-6000 was designed specifically to lift the next generation of massive turbine foundations and refinery modules in a single piece. The industry tension here is one of supply and demand. Building a crane this expensive, with development costs running into the tens of millions of dollars, is a massive gamble. It requires a client with a problem so large that no other machine can solve it. Mammut is betting that the future of energy and industrial construction will require these mega-modular lifts to be successful. In that sense, the SK-6000 is a machine built for tomorrow's problems. Its design builds on the same principles as its predecessors, but on a vastly expanded scale. The engineering of the hook block, the cables, and the foundation required to handle a 13 million pound load is at the absolute cutting edge of material science and mechanical engineering. And so, we have our emotional resolution, a pivot from the tension of market risk to the hope of future capability. The SK-6000 stands ready, a symbol of human ingenuity waiting for a challenge worthy of its power. It's a fitting callback to our hook at the start of the video. When we talk about machines that defy logic, this is the ultimate example. It represents a belief that no matter how big we can dream, we can also build the tools to make it a reality. Is there a practical limit to how big these land-based cranes can get? Or do you think we will see a 10,000-ton crane within our lifetime? Comment with your predictions. From the American-made power of the Biggie AFRD, to the revolutionary flexibility of Sarin's Big Carl, and finally, to the unmatched capacity of the Mammut SK-6000, these three cranes are more than just machines. They are enablers of progress, turning the most ambitious blueprints into reality. They prove that for every engineering challenge, there is a human solution waiting to be built. Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.